Dr. Lai, what is what is FLT3 mutated AML? And what treatment options do patients with FLT3 AML have? Yeah, so FLT3, uh, FLT3 mutations um, are occur in, in about 25 to 30% of patients. Uh, there are two different types of FLT3 mutations. There's the FLT3 ITD mutation and the FLT3 TKD mutation. Uh, they just are, they're, um, different parts of the mutation on, on different parts of, of the cell. And so how I think about that is if you think of a, um, a leukemia cell and each leukemia cell has a different color coded flag. And so the FLT3 mutation I think of is just having a specific um, color coding. Um, and the while a FLT3 mutation in general does predict for a worse prognosis for, for patients, um, we do have targeted treatments. In the newly diagnosed setting, we have mitosorin, which is added to intensive chemotherapy for those fit enough to tolerate it. Uh, and in the relapse refractory setting, we have a, a medication called gilteritinib, which is given as a single agent, so a chemo pill. And that was compared to all types of chemotherapy, both intensive and low intensive chemotherapy. And that pill alone in the refractory and relapse setting was better than, than either the chemotherapies alone. So um, we've made a lot of progress. Um, for the FLT3 mutated patients too, the majority of those patients end up going to transplant if possible. And so there are studies that are looking at FLT3 inhibitors um, in the post-transplant setting to also help improve um, long-term survival and overall survival. Um, so the activation tip from, from that standpoint is that is to ask your oncologist if you, if FLT3 mutation testing was done, um, ask which, which type of mutation they have, if it's the ITD or TKD, if they are FLT3 positive and what the drug options are available for them. Mm -hmm.